Now Ooh. it's always exciting when we get a brand new Spider-Man trailer, and that's what we have right here. This is Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse official trailer part one. It's part one because I've, I I believe they cut in this movie into two parts, but this is the official first part. Let's jump into this official first trailer. We got a first look, and it looks fire. But again, first official trailer. Let's jump into it. New trailer starts now. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> okay, Sony. Let's go. Marvel. Okay. I can hear you being quiet, Mom. I oh, Ma hope I didn't ice your game, man. <laughs> no one my age says those words in that order. <laughs> I should. It's game. just hard to see my little man not being my little boy all the time. Yeah. Now, for years, I've been taking care of this little boy. Mm-hmm. Aw. Aw. They had to throw him in there, right? Making I dig sure it. Making sure he is loved. Mm-hmm. That he feels like he belongs wherever he wants to be. Yeah, he need to be. He need to be he in spite uh, in Fortnite. And do great big things. I'm still waiting for him in Fortnite. Not bad, kid. And what I worry Ooh. about most. What? I love you, Miles. Is they won't look out for you like us. Aww. Miles. They will though. Want to get out of here? Wherever you go from here, you have to promise to take care of that little boy for me. Aww. Make sure he never forgets oh. where he came from. Oh shit! Let's fucking go. And he never doubts that he is loved. Aww. Oh. And he never lets anyone. That was the mom. Tell him that he doesn't belong there. No, it wasn't the mom. Was it? it? I promise. It kind of looked like her. Oh, there we go. <laughs> what is going on? Everybody's after him? Really? We are supposed to be the good guys. We yep. are. Yep. Ooh, oh! Interesting. Play has no limits. PS5. What? Very interesting. So we are seeing a lot of stuff in this trailer, and I am so confused right now. I am so taken back of everything that we've seen, and it's exciting in a way, but in a way, it's like, I feel like we're in a situation, especially with Spider-Man, just putting it out there. Like, we're in a situation where... The, it, it feels like this is like the Avengers Endgame trailer. The first trailer that we ever got to see on that movie where we, you know, they announced the date. They announced, you know, that they're doing the movie, whatever the case may be, you know, showing us a little glimpse and pieces of it. But we never got to see like past a certain point. We didn't see our heroes come back. We see them trying to do the time machine thing, but we never got clarity of what exactly that was. They kept a lot of the story beats out of that trailer to kind of give us you know, hype going into it that was like, a we're going into an unknown. I feel like that's exactly what they're trying to do here. They took this scene right here with Miles talking to the mom of just like, yo, make sure that you're, you know, protecting yourself, this, that, and the third. While you're being Spider-Man, make sure you always find your way back home. And then it jumps into, you know, him in the Spideyverse where him is embracing his role Spider-Man. You see all these other Spider-Mans. And then it just out of nowhere blinks and then every other Spider-Man is chasing them down. And I'm like, what is that? What, what, what is that switch? We don't see what it was. We don't see what caused it. What's the reason behind it? What's the, the meaning of this basically like switch where all of them, for whatever reason, are hunting down this version of Miles, this version of, of Gwent as well. And we don't really know what's going on. We don't have the, the context to, like, explain, you know, who's the bad guy. What's, you know, the what's the theme? We just know that Miles is in this situation where it seems like every other version of him is kind of chasing him down and trying to 
point him out as the bad guy, as the person that was doing something wrong, where, again, Miles is seeing it from his reflection and saying, yo, aren't we supposed to be the good guys or whatever the case may be? And I, I again, I just want to know what was that snap? What was the meaning behind them literally attacking? I'm pretty sure there is... T- Oh my god, I just seen the the PS4 Spider the the Insomniac Spider-Man. The PS4 one is right there walking with um Miles. You see, right here. <laughs> that is so cool. That is so cool using the PS4 one right there. Oh my god, you got the um oh my god, these names are eluding me. These names are eluding me, but let me know in the comments. I thought this is naked. <laughs> That's <laughs> Cop Spider Man. That's I don't know if that's a new one. I'm trying to make out some of these. We see the bag, the Fantastic Four one. That's pretty cool. This one has a unique um mask with his hair showing. That's that's cool. I want to know what what exactly that one is. We see the werewolf one. Do we see the one with the extra arms? Like the um, I wonder what it is that they walk into that creates this like again this snap where they become like the 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 bad guys or the baddies of the of the movie per se and then this one this spider-man right here fighting what's it look like who is that she was fighting looks like a, a version of um forget the guy vulture is this vulture like a version of vulture she's fighting with this motorcycle and again it looked like the mom that's why i was like is this the mom that's why i was saying that and then this one again with the curly hair who is this one it looks like he's like looking over different Spider-Mans, maybe different versions of Spider-Mans. Can't really decipher what's going on with that. But again, they find out, they see this, and then again, they're turned into the bad guys for whatever reason. Or the other Spider-Man starts to hunt them. And I, that's a dope premise for a movie. I just hope that, again, I just hope it lands on his feet, kind of like how Endgame did. It just, like, it, it's so, right now, I'm, I'm I'm in the roller coaster. We're going up. We haven't gone down. And that's where I think that the trailer suffers the most. It's like, it's giving me all of these questions that I want to go, I want to, I want to pick through this trailer. I want to see every single Spider-Man suit that is referenced and stuff like that. But I want to pick through this trailer. I want to see if I could like maybe connect the pieces or connect the the webs. (laughs) Sorry for the whack pun, but like it's, it's so much I feel is missing from explaining what's going on to this movie that I would have to score. To me, if you're a trailer, you want to explain the movie. You want to sell, you want to put butts in seats. Granted, Spider-Man does that 85% of the time regardless because it's Spider-Man, right? Across the Spider-Verse, obviously, he's getting answered. We see a ton of Spider-Man um, in, in this trailer. Are we seeing a, a bad guy or a definitive bad guy or a plot storyline? No, and that's where the trailer as explaining or selling or getting a butt in the seat doesn't really do it for me. But dope trailer, obviously, because it's Spider-Man IP bias with me, obviously. I'm going to have to get this a high score regardless. So I'm thinking maybe maybe more like an 8 or 9. But I think I'm going to leave more towards the 8. This scene is insane. This scene is insane because everybody is literally trying to grab him. And this Spider-Man, it looks like he has three arms. You got to let me know what Spider-Man that is in the comments. I don't know. I've never seen that one. It's like a clear, uh, not a clear glob, but like a gray and white Spider-Man with multiple, more than just two arms. So let me know what that is in the comment section below. And we see a whole bunch of them. I, I can't really tell if this is like green or is they, they're just doing a color thing because it just switches right away. So they, they're probably just doing a color thing. But let me know in the comment section below if you can name any Spider-Man, any, any of these shots because they all look pretty cool. This looks like the one we just got in Fortnite, <laughs> which is funny. Then we see this one again with the, uh, he, I want to say curlier hair, but it kind of looks like the the one that, um, and he also has like the blades on his arms too. We get Spider-Man with the, um, with the cape, with the wristwatch thing. We got the bag. I love that the bag one is there and like, it, it's like a completely different art style. To reference him, look at him. He's straight out of comic book art style. That is so beautiful. That is so dope. Can't wait to see that. And again, Gwen looks like she's in it too, where she's running away as well. 
this guy looks like he is giving them all the smoke. This is, I believe, 2077 Spider-Man. I, I could be saying that the, the, the year wrong, but it's like the one that's in the future, the super future. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Again, an 8 out of 10 trailer. Let me know what you would give it in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I answer all comments. So let's have that convo down there. If you're new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I do videos like this every day. Talking trailers, Pokemon, Call of Duty, Fortnite, wherever I feel like dropping the vibes on. I drop it here on the channel. So again, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton. As far as moving these videos into recommended so other people can check out the videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.